a morning that one family wishes they could forget. I'm alive. That's the only thing I can say. But every day is another reminder of what was taken from them, a man they trusted as a business partner. We had hired him to go to shop. They say he stopped answering their calls, and after four months, they weren't seeing a return on their investment, nearly $12,000. They asked for a refund. I knew he didn't have it to give back. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and this is what happens. They say James Tapp agreed to give the money back. He was supposed to bring it to their mailbox. And just before 6 that morning, Josh went to go check. Coming off the asphalt to the ditch, I heard something go Right after that, he says he was hit from behind. That's the last thing he remembers. Meanwhile, his wife says another man, believed to be Terrence Miles, walked into their house demanding cash. Miles now accused of raping her. By the time she was able to get police on the scene, Josh was laying in a ditch by the mailbox. Oh, this is just Josh. He'll just sit up. He'll just pop up and be fine. He'll be okay. But Josh wasn't okay. Doctors say he had been stabbed at least 24 times. How much did I lost? I shouldn't have survived. But after five surgeries, he lost his eyesight, a burden that's been tough to bear. What can I do? But there's only so much I can do without seeing. An army vet once known for working with his hands, and now he needs his wife's help to take his every step. I have a permanently disabled husband now. You know, his world's been turned upside down. They face half a million dollars in medical bills. I mean, we might not have, I don't know how much longer we're gonna have this house or our vehicles or anything. Now they ask their community to help in any way they can as they continue to heal from the wounds that have cut so deeply. Reporting, Randall Newsom, Fox 14 News.